Good morning, morning. Britain. Hate crime row. The Prime Minister backs J.K. Rowling over her attack on Scotland's controversial new laws. Rishi Sunak gave his support to the Harry Potter author after she dared police to arrest her over gender-critical social media posts. Well, J.K. Rowling challenged the new laws on hate crime with a series of tweets dealing with transgender issues. Uh, the Prime Minister says he and his party will protect free speech. Britain's autism crisis worsens, with the number of people waiting for a diagnosis jumping by 47%. Chris Packham, himself diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome, is going to be here to tell us why the delay in diagnosing children is damaging their mental health, their education and their entire well-being. Sign of the times, Daventry in Northamptonshire has been declared the unofficial pothole capital of the country. But who is the mystery sign writer highlighting the deepening problem? Yes, I've been on the trail of the Daventry Banksy who's been trying to shame the local council by to fill in the potholes by leaving a series of signs dotted around the town. may have set a Guinness World Record as the most watched man ever on TV. But this morning, we're celebrating real Baywatch hero, Chris Lewis, who's officially the longest serving lifeguard on the planet. He's been saving lives on Bournemouth Beach for almost 60 years. And the rest of this week will be dominated by low pressure, rain, showers and a splash of sunshine. All that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Tuesday, 2nd of April, 2024. Live from Television Centre in London, this is Good Morning Britain with Charlotte Hawkins and Richard Maidley. Very morning. good morning to you. Welcome to the programme this morning. It's the Easter holidays, of course, isn't it? People may well be jetting off to sunnier mm. climes, but it seems they're not necessarily welcome everywhere. Well, if you're going to, if you're watching this from, from an airport and you're heading for Tenerife, put your tin hat on because you might not be welcome. This is an extraordinary story. We'll be debating it later.